Jonah and the Whale of Short Stories for Kids. Today we have a book named Jonah and the Whale of Short Stories for Kids. I think they're so pretty. I hope you guys really enjoy it. I love it. Please give this video a like if you enjoy it, and don't forget to subscribe for more stories. Thank you, reading. So, here we go. God speaking to Jonah. Jonah was leaving for work one day, and on his path, he suddenly saw a white light with a booming voice coming through. It was the voice of God, and he said, Travel to Nineveh and convince the people to stop the cruelty against the people of Israel. Lead them to the path I have revealed and preach to them to lead a good life. Jonah replied, Yes, my lord, I will do as you ask of me. Although Jonah accepted the task, he had second thoughts regarding the same, and when he was on his way, he lost the will to continue. He was convinced that the people of Nineveh were not good and would not listen to him. Jonah hiding from God Unable to carry out God's command, Jonah thought to hide from God and ran away. He started heading opposite Nineveh and reached the city of Joppa. He saw a ship in the port and asked the captain, Where is the ship going? The captain replied that it was going to the neighboring city, and Jonah begged the captain to take him there. He boarded the ship and went to sleep. God saw Jonah escaping and sent a storm in their way to stop the ship from reaching its destination. The intensity of the storm was unlike anything the sailors had ever experienced. The waves battered the ship and everyone was terrified. Jonah then came out and confessed that God was angry with him for disobeying his orders. He then requested the crew to throw him into the sea so they could save themselves from God's wrath. Having no choice but to save themselves, the sailors picked up Jonah and tossed him into the ocean. The storm immediately subsided, and they sailed on in calm water. Jonah inside a whale As Johan struggled in the water, God sent a whale to swallow him up and save him from drowning. Although he was safe, he couldn't help but feel terrified of his fate. He spent a whole day in a whale's stomach and realized it was God's punishment for his disobedience. While the whale saved him, it was also his prison for the moment, so he could ponder over his actions, thoughts, and choices. Two more days passed, and Jonah started repenting for what he had done and asked for God's forgiveness. Jonah prayed to God, saying, Forgive my actions, my Lord. I was a fool to not listen to your command. So after three days, God commanded the whale to take Jonah to the shore and set him free. He finally came out of the whale, happy to see sunlight again and be alive. At this time, God repeated his command again and instructed Jonah to go to Nineveh and convince the people to mend their ways. Jonah in Nineveh Jonah was now fully aware of the wrath of God and was afraid for the people of Nineveh. He walked to the city and started preaching to the people about the immorality of their action. He said, Your immoral actions have angered God, and he will make you pay for your sin. Apologize to him right away, or in forty days you will face his wrath. Although the people of Nineveh were skeptical at first, they began to understand the seriousness of what Jonah was saying to them. He also told them that God was merciful towards those who correct themselves and love all equally. People eventually accepted Jonah's preaching and asked God for forgiveness. They changed their ways, and God spared them of the ill fate that would have befallen otherwise. The story has many moral lessons starting from the love of God. God loves all of his creations equally and gives everyone a chance to change their ways and become better. The second important lesson is that running from God is impossible. 
If you disobey his commands, you will get punished. But if you comply sooner or later, God will forgive you. You have to work as per his plan, or he will keep sending challenges in your way to make you realize what must be done finally. The End Good job, friends. Thank you so much for reading with me. Bye, I'll see you next time.